बसमीम् अल्लाम डर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आल आर फाइन वेल आई विल टीच यू द साइंस सब्जेक्ट ऑफ क्लास फोर्थ एंड टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट लेसन ऑफ क्लास फोर्थ दैट इज़ हाउ प्लांट्स लिव बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन वी विल रिकॉल आर प्रीवियस नॉलेज अबाउट द प्लांट्स प्लांट्स आर द लिविंग थिंग्स दे कैन प्रोड्यूस देयर ऑन फूड बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसेंथिस Uh, they are diff- they are different from other living things that is animals in this sense that they can prepare their own food mm, uh, plant have uh, plant structure has two main portion it has roots and shoot the root is that portion which grow below the ground and it helps the plant body uh, to stand firmly in the soil and the other portion is shoot which grows above the ground and it has branches stem uh, shoot mm, leaves and uh, flowers buds etc well today our topic is how plants live is plants are present everywhere in the world uh, we see different uh, types of plants different kinds of plants around us plants can grow both on land like deserts hills mountains farms orchards and even on snow covered mountains and plant also grow in water bodies like seas ponds oceans etc uh, further in this chapter we will study about the plants uh, that how their body structure are adopted uh, and modified to the uh, environment in which they live and how uh, uh, and which help uh, help them to survive in that environment for example if a plant grow in deserts uh, so how their body structure body parts like uh, roots uh, leaves etc are modified so that it can survive in that environment in that condition and uh, is adaptable to their temperature and if a plant uh, grow in water bodies like seas oceans etc so how its body parts are adapted to their environment to their temperature and to their conditions there are different kinds of plants um, according to the uh, uh, their height their shape which are based on their growth habits uh, their life span so um, we uh, there are three main uh, kinds of plants on the basis of their growth habit that is herbs shrubs and trees <coughs> herbs are uh, smaller in size these are the smallest plants of all and uh, they have no true woody stem they have greenish stem and uh, very uh, soft and delicate roots as well uh, here the picture is given in your book this is the herb of mint and this is the herb of spinach uh, they have um, they are smaller in size uh, as compared to the other plants and um, uh, they have greenish stem and uh, they may have a few branches or no branches at all because uh, their stem is weak and they it cannot support a lot of branches uh, other examples of uh, herbs are grasses wheat um, tomato etc Uh, the second one is shrubs uh, shrubs are the inter- the uh, medium sized plants and uh, they are intermediate in size uh, between the herbs and uh, tall or huge trees um, they have woody stem but the stem is uh, thin as compared to the trees and uh, they uh, have a lot of branches uh, it can its stem can support branches and uh, Uh, but they are uh, different. They are different from uh, the trees in the sense that they are smaller in size than the trees. They are bushy-like in nature. Its examples are lantana and cotton. Other example of shrubs are uh, rose, hibiscus, um, uh, and the third one is trees. Trees are uh, uh, the huge trees are dead plants which have uh, which have a woody stem. They are very strong, and uh, they have a lot of branches and they have well defined root roots as well. Here example is given in your book that is banyan tree and fir tree. Uh, both of these have woody stem, and uh, they have. Uh, Uh, a lot of branches and, and uh, they have uh, well uh, uh, defined roots as well <coughs> there is another category of uh, plant kinds of plants as well that is climbers uh, climbers are their plants uh, which have a very long thick 
uh, thin and very uh, weak stem that it cannot stand upright they need some external support on which they can climb and uh, due to which it can stand uh, or uh, uh, take its body um, above the ground uh, and its examples are uh, grabs and uh, fresh beans uh, green beans um, etc plants are useful for us plants are very useful for us in many ways uh, some of its uses are given as under um, plants make the air fresh air fresh in which sense means we call the air fresh when it has a more uh, concentration of oxygen and uh, less amount of carbon dioxide mm, as we know that uh, we inhale oxygen and give out carbon dioxide uh, uh, and which is emitted into the air uh, and atmosphere um, as in the same way the vehicles uh, factories uh, etc emit their smoke into the atmosphere and they it contain a lot of carbon dioxide due to which the concentration of carbon dioxide increases in the air and we call uh, the fresh air is that in which the concentration of carbon dioxide is less so the plants are the only living beings which uh, take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen into the atmosphere so uh, in both the way it increases it increases the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere and decreases the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air by taking it in so in this way they make the air fresh and clean the second one is we get food from plants we depend both directly and indirectly on plants for our food for example we take uh, food uh, like fruits and vegetables directly from the plants and uh, indirectly we eat the plant eating animals which is also a source of food for us so uh, in both the cases uh, we are dependent on plants the third one is we get wood from plants we get uh, plants provide us wood which is very uh, which we need in our daily life for many purposes like uh, for making furniture and for making doors uh, for making our different stationery like uh, pencils rulers uh, colors etc so uh, pl uh, plants uh, provide this wood and uh, pl uh, uh, wood is uh, we also would you use wood for um, fuel as a fuel we burn it and get energy from it um another one is we also depend for our uh, some of our clothes uh, as well on plants some of our clothes like cotton clothes are made from uh, cotton plants um, and there are also other fibers as well which we get from from the plants and from the dead fibers we make our clothes so for the clothes we also depend on the plants another one is uh, we uh, plants provide us paper uh, we also get paper from the plants from which we make our books or uh, uh, notebooks etc and pla uh, from plants we also get medicines uh, and uh, in this way we also get resins glue um, also from the plants so uh, uh, looking uh, to these all uses uh, it means that for most of our um, things uh, for most of um, our daily life uh, uh, survival we depend on plants we pla we need plant in uh, uh, every mm. field of our life so we should grow more and more trees we should take care of the uh, plants mm, uh, uh, which are already grown and uh, uh, okay this is our lesson um, uh, 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 in the next lesson we will study the about the land plants and the uh, water plants that how uh, they survive in the uh, in that environment or in that condition okay thanks